So now in this video we're going to do another circuit where if we have enough voltage the LED is on and if we lower it enough the LED will be off. So almost all of this current is actually the LED. Of course this other stuff needs some current to a power. The transistor there is dropping a little bit of voltage from the LED and so you're going to see when we pull it that's the current going through the rest of the circuitry and uh, it's going to be about 10 milliamps higher here because this is conducting a little bit better because the transistor is not dropping voltage from it but it's pretty much the same now you can see 179 180 in here it's about uh, 160 so it goes up a little bit as it warms up but in any case the uh, main thing with this circuit is as uh, we lower voltage of course current's going to go down because there's less voltage across here but again you're going to see we had about 97 there and uh, the uh, two of them together here so now voltage isn't being dropped from the load it's about 10 milliamps higher so the transistor is kind of dropping about 10 milliamps of current through the load regardless of voltage now we uh, come down I have this set to uh, try to turn it off at 3 milliamps it's not doing as I mean 3 volts it's not doing as good as the job that I want but it looks like it shuts off pretty much completely at 2.9 there's always a little bit of leakage if you were using a single lithium ion battery uh, to power this You'd want to uh, disconnect it um, before terribly long, but you'd have a lot of time, um, depending on how big the battery is. So we'll go back to uh, 3 volts. This is with the green LED. The blue LED does a little better job. So I have a series shot key diode to help uh, raise the uh, voltage. But there you can see uh, 0 milliamps of current. Again, a little bit is trickling. It always will in this circuit, but, um, you know, not, not much. So... A fairly large size battery even in 18650 would uh, probably last a long time before it drops to 2.5 volts and there you can see without that extra voltage drop we still got that so um we have basically the same results from earlier circuits but i think this is an improved uh, version it's uh, wired a little bit differently so we'll look at that next so now we're going to uh, look at the circuit in more detail. Um, first thing you should notice, this is a PNP bipolar junction transistor. That's an NPN bipolar junction transistor. So we are actually switching the PNP bipolar junction transistor with the NPN bipolar junction transistor. But uh, the NPN bipolar junction transistor is either on or off based on whether current is coming from the positive supply there or not because these, uh, the LED, the shot key diode, if we have to add one, and the base 2 emitter there, they all drop uh, voltage. So if you don't have enough supply voltage, current practically comes to a stop. So not completely. Um, that's why we have this pull down resistor to give it a trickle, a path to uh, ground. So the PMP bipolar junction transistor, you can see here if that transistor is off, which makes it so it doesn't exist for the most part, then we have uh, positives to the base and the same voltage at the emitter there. So there's no way current can flow through. It's basically a diode there. No emitter to base current means no emitter to collector current. The LED will be off uh, completely at that point. So this is the pull up resistor. Helps hold that voltage up at the base. Now, the uh, NPN bipolar junction transistor, if it is on, then we have a connection to ground there. You can see we have a path from emitter to a uh, base for the PNP to go to ground and uh, so a small amount of current this one will turn on uh, pretty much uh, right away and uh, so we can consider it fully on once it turns on for the most part and uh, so we don't need you know a ton of current but it needs to be a little bit high right there because this load is going to drop the gain of the transistor by quite a bit it needs a fair amount of current there that's why i'm not using like a 2n3904 which can only handle 200 milliamps of current this comes close to that we're going to use a transistor that can handle about 600 milliamps current. So we're going to use the 2N2907, which is basically the PNP version of the 2N2222 uh, right there. So as we said before, if that transistor is on, then that one will be on because it connects to ground. So a low input there uh, turns it on close enough to uh, zero volts. Um, you actually have to drop it about 0.6 volts below the supply voltage to get it to uh, start conducting but it needs to go down a little bit. That's the main takeaway. Now we have the uh, NPN bipolar junction transistor here. It also has a pull down resistor. So if no, or almost no, because these do uh, trickle a little bit, current uh, goes through those LEDs because the voltage isn't uh, high enough. 
Then you can see we got a connection to ground to the base. Ground over there at the emitter and uh, no voltage difference means no current flows through base to emitter and thus no current can flow from collector to emitter. So it's off as we looked at uh, before in that case. But if we raise the power supply voltage enough then you can see that uh, current will start flowing through the LED. It drops about 2.5 approximately. Shocky down about 0.3 so if you need that uh, extra voltage, you could add the shocky. But the base to emitter drops about 0.6 volts as well. So you need the supply voltage to get the current to go through there. At lower voltage, a little bit will trickle through. And so we got the pull down resistor. It uh, will head to ground instead of making its way uh, through base to emitter. The voltage uh, here will be held below 0.6 volts. And uh, so it won't flow. That's, uh, that helps turn it off completely for the most part. But we will always have that little bit of leakage as I mentioned before. So I added some more notation to uh, this circuit than uh, most. We have four resistors here and two of them, um, the pull uh, up and this is the pull up there. That's the pull down resistor, as you can see there. I already said they help fully turn off the transistor that uh, they're headed towards the base of. And uh, so we also have some current limiting uh, resistors. We I could probably go up quite a bit more with uh, this one, um, but we do work with a low voltage when, when we drop it down low. Not a lot of voltage goes across that resistor, and uh, so maybe we do need it to be that low to get enough current to flow through. Uh, but with this one, the uh, even though this connects the ground really good, we have a load that requires uh, quite a bit of current for these type of uh, transistors. And so their gain goes down a lot when they have to provide a lot of current through a load. And uh, so we're going to get a fair amount of current. You know, it's you know somewhere like uh, 12 milliamps of current or so. Not a ton when it's about 4.2 volts. But again, that's a fair amount for a bipolar junction transistor because the gain is going to go down with the power demands of the load. And here's the actual circuit. So I used a little jumper there to get our load a little bit lower. Um, the load's pretty straightforward. It has its own current limiting resistor. You can just put up to 5 volts across it and it sets uh, the current from there. And uh, of course that LED also drops about as much as uh, this one. Probably about 2.5 uh, volts. But it has a fixed uh, resistor on it. So we don't have any control. There you can see it's the PNP bipolar junction transistor. Emitter on top. Base in the middle and the collector at the bottom. That's because the flat side is to the left. 2N2907. 2N2222 has the same pin layout, but it's opposite polarities. And uh, so its emitter is headed to ground. So flat side to the right, emitter down there, base there, and collector up there. So as we saw before, that's the pull up resistor. Positive supply helps hold that off until we get a low input there. We have a current limiting uh, resistor. But it still lets a uh, fair amount through when uh, this transistor is on. You can see that uh, current path there. Hopefully that makes sense. And then uh, to the base of the NPM bipolar junction transistor. Again, 330 ohm uh, resistor and our voltage divider. The blue LED, as we saw, um, didn't need the extra shot key dialed. There's our pull down resistor. When I had the green LED, I will uh, put it back. And there we saw that we needed some more uh, voltage drop so there we go and uh, they're both forward bias by the way the direction that they conduct easier but if it voltage does drop enough it will still stop it so this is a shocky down a black band right there I got it from the Joe Nose electronic semiconductor kit if you check out uh, my uh, shop page where it shows stuff that I use in my videos for the most part I have a link to, uh, you'll see that picture of the box, to the Joe Knows Electronic Semiconductor Kit. But there we got the shot key. So um, if you're wondering how I wired it up on the board, there's a closer look. I hope you enjoyed. So that's it for this video. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.